The following video was designed to describe a new form of interactive fiction. For the consumer, it all starts with a character named Colin Mayhew. One of the things about a robotic action is, is the way the legs work. In the 1950s, a young man named Colin Mayhew was involved in an automobile accident. Though the accident is minor, it shapes Colin's decision about what he would do with his life. Colin goes on to become an engineer for many at their plant in Oxford, England. It's there that he begins working on a project that he had dreamed of since the accident. Building a robot sophisticated enough to prevent traffic accidents, repair vehicles, and make the roads safer. Colin begins to build his robot from the only parts available to him. Parts from minis. In 2001, Colin begins robot testing in a remote location outside Oxford. Okay. As his work advances, he creates a website to document his progress. His site, r50rd.co.uk, quietly surfaces on the internet. After a while, it becomes a topic on a few message boards, and news of Colin's robots moves along at a modest pace. Then, all hell breaks loose. Word of Colin's breakthrough spreads to more mainstream websites, and soon, his site is receiving hundreds of thousands of hits. As more and more people dig for information and debate the authenticity of his work, the sheer number of visitors is literally crippling Colin's site. Meanwhile, another development is taking place. 6.1 million copies of an excerpt of a book are being distributed through magazines and newsstands. Men of Metal, eyewitness accounts of humanoid robots. Written by freelance journalist Roland Samuel, Men of Metal documents the unexplained sightings in Oxford, England. As people read the book, they discover accounts by eyewitnesses, pictures of footprints found near the sightings, and sketches. In one instance, a man is driving home late one rainy night when he loses control of his vehicle. Just as the car is about to leave the road, he is rescued by something, something he can't describe. But what makes his story even more interesting is that he managed to snap a picture. In researching the sightings, the author finds out about Colin Mayhew and his interest in robotics. Colin becomes the lead suspect. The book leads readers to dig deeper on the web. They are rewarded. A site called the Oxford Incident Sightings page is found. It documents recent sightings of robot-like creatures on the streets of Oxford, England. The site is independent of Colin Mayhew and Roland Samuel and appears to corroborate other eyewitness reports. People dig deeper to find out more about Colin Mayhew. They are again rewarded when they find his personal website, the publisher's website, and the author's website. As of today, interest continues to mount. Colin Mayhew's email fills daily with requests for interviews, technical advice, and more information. Kassan Publishing is inundated with requests for the complete version of Men of Metal. Colin's personal and professional sites receive tens of thousands of new visitors every day. And the debate rages on between the believers and the non-believers. Through it all, Colin Mayhew remains silent. Visit r50rd.co.uk